Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. So I just wanted to show you a cool little piece of peripheral that I have for my hi-fi system. It's probably a little underwhelming to most people, but to me it's very special and very dear to me for a couple of different reasons. It's, uh, it's this thing. It's, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll punch in a close-up of it. It's, it's a VU meter. And it does exactly what you'd expect it to do. You put on some music and the little needles go do 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 like that. Now, the reason why I have this thing and the reason why it's so special to me is when I was a kid, I used to love going through my dad's record collection. I would sit with headphones on and jam out to his records. And uh, we used to have a tape machine, uh, like, a, like a cassette tape deck, which had one of those little VU meters with the little needles that go like that. And I used to sit there and stare at it for hours. And I thought it was super cool and super interesting to see the little things bouncing along to the beat of the music. And when you get a hi-fi system today, you don't get those visualizations of the music playing, which I think is kind of a shame. We kind of had it a bit in the 90s with like Winamp and you had those little visualizers that could like make weird swirly colors that, you know, pumped and bobbed and weaved around and... Yeah, that was cool and all, but I kind of miss the little needles that went like that. So my dad actually, my, I may have mentioned this, my dad's an electrical engineer, so he likes uh, circuit boards and soldering things together and all that kind of shit. So I asked my dad, can you build me a box that has a little needle that goes like this? And he was like, sure, why not? Uh, and so he uh, went off, got materials, and he custom built this little fucker. And it basically just has phono input and output. This is where you plug in your tape out or a monitor or whatever. So audio comes into this thing. And these two little knobs are for fine tuning the sensitivity of the needles in the front. So I'll just quickly demonstrate how it works. We'll uh, put on some music that's unlikely to hit any copyright uh, flags or anything. Look at him go! So that means that now when I sit and listen to music, I can still watch my little needles go jumpy jumpy and groove along to the music, which is sort of oddly therapeutic in a way. And I, uh, I just, I just really love it. Cool, huh? Ah, I think that's enough of that. The thing is, this works with uh, both the CD and the record player because right now, yep, the, um, oh, you can't see the amp. So this works with both the record player and the CD player because what it does is it just takes the tape out from the amplifier and puts it into the little box. And the tape out is basically the monitoring, like if you're making mixtapes, the tape out is basically just regurgitating whatever the amplifier is getting in. Unfortunately, that means that if you put on a tape, then the uh, little VU box suddenly doesn't work because the tape isn't listening to itself uh, through the amp. So if you put on a tape, then the visualizer goes away. But, luckily I'm not totally bereft of the glory of visualizations if I happen to want to listen to a cassette tape because this cassette deck, a Philips Dual Logic FC567, actually has a decent tape mechanism in it, unlike the sort of garbage you can buy today. <clears throat> Check out Techmoon's 
channel for a, a rundown of that. He has a video on why we all think cassette tapes sound awful and they are actually quite good and it has to do with shitty tape decks. But this one is a very, very good tape deck. And one of the things it also has, if we were to put on a little cassette tape, uh, again, for copyright purposes, I'm just putting on the Space Quest 4 reorchestrated cassette tape that I did yonks ago. Get that bad boy in. Now, this cassette tape is some cheap, cheap ferro tape. That is a strange sound, by the way. Here, have a listen. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure that's right, but, mm. but anyway, getting back to the visualization part. If I were to play some music from this tape, which is silence. <laughs> this is a prototype cassette. I'm not actually sure I recorded anything on it. <laughs> okay. We'll dip our toes into copyright then. I mean, who cares? The channel isn't monetized anyway. Here we go. My friends Cloak and Dagger did a game called Football Game and they released the soundtrack on this nice purple little cassette tape. Behold, this thing actually has a little VU meter of its own. Hard to make out, I'll cut it and insert. It's not quite the needles jumping back and forth like that, but it is nonetheless a very fascinating looking little peak level meter visualize -y thing. Uh, and it absolutely does the trick. I can sit and stare at this for hours and hours as well. So between that and my little box of joy up here, I can just zone out when I listen to music. It's great. So yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. Sorry, it may be a bit underwhelming, but to me it's very special. It, it kind of brings back some lovely childhood memories of just kicking back in the sofa with my headphones on and just watching that thing go do 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 when I wasn't reading liner notes or whatever else you do when you listen to music, which I guess is sort of a, a throwback to an earlier age when putting on an album and investing the time to actually sit down and listen to it, not uh, get off my lawn kind of thing, uh, which, you know, streaming music is wonderful. I have nothing against streaming music. I'll put on a playlist and just go around and putter around the house, it's, it's fine. But when I really want to get into the zone, I like the idea of sitting down, putting an album on, and just zoning out and getting lost in the music, so to speak. And having these little visualizers helps keep uh, helps keep me focused on the music and helps me uh, you know sort of get into it really as opposed you know closing your eyes also works but uh, you know that's um, that's really it so um, cheers thanks for watching I'll see you around the corona stream bye